today's tip is about a really cool tool and it's called annotate it helps you when you do have to share some pages maybe with some graphs numbers or you're just trying to highlight different parts of your screen uh, it's kind of fun to use it is interactive in your audience your viewers can also use it here's a slide that i use in my online presentation webinar we're talking about the importance of polling and all the benefits it provides first thing you'll notice is the control strip across the top click the annotate button here and that opens up the annotation control panel what i do is i click draw now in case you ever make a mistake you can go over to this button and click on erase and you just rub the eraser over the lines that you've drawn the mistake and you can start over you can also format you can change the color the size of the lines you're using what types of lines and you click on this button right here the point that I'm trying to make on this slide with my audience is that with different types of polls, you can do a lot of what I call market research. You can find out how your audience is feeling. So I will often poll my audiences to see how they're feeling about giving online presentations. So the first answer is nervous here that in this type of polling, the larger the word, the more common that particular emotion was felt. Scary is also another common feeling that people have. And also some people say they're excited. In the next poll, I ask about what's your biggest online frustration? This is more of a multiple choice. The number one answer that I've circled here is people are frustrated uh, trying to figure out how to keep people's attention when they're presenting. What I also show here is that people sometimes say that they're still not sure where to look at the camera. That used to be my number one answer. So there are some different points I make there and how you can best utilize this information uh, in your marketing. And the last type of poll I'm showing is, these are full ideas and sentences people can write out. I've circled people want to know how to engage everyone who's attending their workshop. So these are different ways that I can point out answers that people have because I don't like it when anybody puts up a slide that I can't read. The annotation tool lets you quickly point these issues out and then move on. You're not asking people to read, you stay in control of the slide. Just a couple of quick examples on how to use Annotate. It's an excellent tool as a presenter, and sometimes you can he even have your audience. Uh, I've seen people do multiple choice quizzes. Uh, great way to get people involved. So just play with that. It's a little bit more of an advanced presentation tool, but again, we're looking in this whole series of tips, different ways to keep you and your audience engaged to make it a more enjoyable experience. We'll see you in tip number 36.